Some shows are just ripe for the picking. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoons that deserve their own live-action movie. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've chosen animated television shows whose plots and characters are either of a high enough quality or have a unique enough premise to warrant a live-action movie adaptation, but they don't have one. Yet. We're only looking at Western animation this time around, so anime will be for another list and another day. Definitely getting a clearer picture. And... It's bad. Bad doesn't begin to describe it. Number 10. The Magic School Bus. This show proved that cartoons with an educational agenda didn't have to be boring or pander to their audience. The premise involves a group of students and their unorthodox but awesome teacher Ms. Frizzle, aka The Frizz, as they explore the various wonders of life, science, nature, history, and more, all via a school bus with oddly appropriate shape-shifting qualities. T minus five and counting. Four, three, two, one. With so many issues facing new generations of children, a colorful, lighthearted but well-meaning flick about human beings or what's beyond the stars would be quite refreshing. Since the show was littered with celebrity cameos, it's only fair to throw in a few of our own suggestions for the potential live-action adaptation. Amy Poehler is the frizz, anyone? We've created a mob of little Leslie Note monsters. I'm so proud. Number 9. Johnny Bravo Hey! Who's that handsome guy? While the muscle-bound oaf who was always trying to score with the ladies never failed to bring the laughs on the small screen during his heyday, a live-action adaptation would prove to be much more of a challenge. Um, how about if I pay for dinner? Play it too safe, and it's a boring flick. Push it too far, and Johnny comes across as vile and lecherous. And that's the last thing anyone wants. As long as Mr. Bravo has a huge heart, gets into all kinds of mischief, and may or may not find that special someone, you'll have the makings of a stellar comedy. Assuming he can pull off that hair, why not put Dwayne Johnson in the lead? Or roll the dice completely on Nicolas Cage. Okay, let's run. Number 8. Gargoyles Since it seems like half the cast of the Star Trek franchise lent their voices to this 90s animated heavyweight, there's no reason a transition to the big screen can't be done easily. You deserve better than this. These cliffs were our home ages before they built their stone fortress. Following the adventures of a group of living gargoyles that awaken from their stony slumber when the sun sets, the animated series features a lot of good source material for a dark fantasy adventure in modern New York. Time to take the gloves off. Just make sure you focus on practical effects over CGI, which would give dignity and depth to each of the winged warriors. And, for the love of everything, make sure that Keith David returns to voice Goliath. Then find a role for David Tennant, keep Michael Bay far, far away from the director's chair, and you'll be golden. We're very impressed. I'm warning you guys. <laughs> Good warning. Have it your way. Number 7. The Powerpuff Girls Sugar. Spice. And everything nice. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Stick to these very basic guidelines, and you have three of animation's most revered superheroines. With young girls nowadays having very little in terms of superhero-like role models, aside from Black Widow or Wonder Woman, these three have served as the pinnacle of what it means to be good, while also overcoming tasks that a lot of children face, all the while kicking the crap out of giant monsters on the small screen. <laughs> A big screen live action adaptation would have to capture their innocence, balance it out with fighting crime, and not go down the dreaded studio route of making them teenagers. Or 40 year olds playing teenagers, because that would be a disaster. Have you lost your mind? This isn't the bubbles we know! The bubbles you know is gone! Number 6 Thundercats. Thunder! Thundercats! This 80s classic was the definition of gloriously cheesy TV fare, as it featured humanoid alien jungle cats battling an ancient mummified demon priest. Their leader is a sword-wielding lion-like creature with flowing red hair dressed in tight blue. You just can't beat that. A more recent TV adaptation showed that, despite the ludicrous premise, it could still be grounded with great characters and awesome fight scenes. <laughs> 
A live action version would have to breathe life into the world of Third Earth, establish Lion O as an undeniable badass, and make sure Mum Ra is the stuff of nightmares. Oh, and maybe think about making Snarf a mute. Look what I have for you. <laughs> Number 5 Teen Titans. Studio output being quite superhero centric in the early 21st century, a lot of unlikely properties are being dusted off and given a spot in the limelight. While DC is focused on the collection of characters in and related to the Justice League, this animated show about a group of sidekicks and lesser known characters in that universe has proven to be a powerhouse. This isn't over. It's just getting started. Teenage plights, an incredible set of villains, a well-developed romance, and numerous opportunities for Batman cameos, this could be the franchise that finally gives the DC Universe a foothold at the box office. That is, as long as they get Robin Wright. You're not going to win. Number 4. Captain Planet and the Planeteers By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! It may be cheesy, yes, but at least it's environmentally friendly cheese, right? Say hello to the ecosystem defenders here to save the world from evil and pollution. While its moral message was very blatant and ham-fisted, a live-action version could offer some depth to each of the Planeteers and find a more subtle way of getting its meaning across, especially when tackling heavier subjects like AIDS and gang violence. I do not understand why there is such hatred just because the gangs live in different housing projects. The Planeteers even encounter Hitler and a Yeti, albeit separately among their adventures. There's definitely a lot of silliness to sift through, but in the right hands, it could be a fun flick that could raise awareness about real-world issues. If you stop the violence, stop the gang, stop the killing, stop the crime, declare a truce. Number 3. Gravity Falls Oh, Norman, you can tell me anything. Please be a vampire, please. There is so much paranormal zaniness in this series that if a film were ever commissioned, the studio would be hard-pressed to choose a single narrative. You have gnomes that puke rainbows, a time-traveling tape measure, and the hilarious world-ending Bill Cipher. Oh, I know we'll meet again some sunny day. What made the show so compelling, and what would thus be the most essential ingredient of any possible future movie, are spot-on portrayals of its three main protagonists. The dynamic relationship between twins Dipper and Mabel is a must. While their ever grouchy grunkle Stan will have to be both a badass as well as an obnoxious pensioner. Considering J.K. Simmons lent his voice to the show, the movie should ideally let him run amok as the owner of the Mystery Shack. Or perhaps another interesting character. There she is, Mabel. The cheapest fare money can rent. Number 2. Kim Possible <laughs> If Disney has time between Marvel films and Star Wars movies in the next 30 years, maybe the company could be convinced to bring the exploits of a feisty cheerleader who moonlights as a crime fighter to the big screen. <laughs> Having to deal with the prospects of womanhood, which is often shown to be scarier than dealing with supervillains, Kim's the kind of girl that can take out a room full of killers with ease, while also fretting about her social outcast of a sidekick, Ron Stoppable. As long as they nail their chemistry, which wouldn't work without Kim's wit and Ron's dorky charm, then filmmakers will have the makings of a standout heroine. We also hope they try and fit in that catchy theme song. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Now, obliterate them! I'm no teacher, but I'm guessing that's an F. Come on, you guys, if you're gonna be superhero sidekicks, you're gonna have to be a little more focused. You're supposed to be helping me study for the test tomorrow, and you're supposed to be helping me catch these ghosts, so I have time to study! It is here in my astounding laboratory that you shall gain a newfound respect for the noble denizens of the dirt. For I, Dexter, have used my superior intellect to assemble the world's largest, most amazing ant farm! Number 1. Samurai Jack no one attacks Aku's minions. Destroy him! While the show's unique art style and narrative are best expressed through its animation, the tale of the wandering samurai and his quest to return to the past is a story just begging for a live-action adaptation. I was a young emperor at the time, 
and was helpless against his powers. The dystopian future, the various alien races, Jack's training and teachings, not to mention the ever-present threat of the demon Aku. There is so much to love about the series that the potential screenplay writers and filmmakers would be spoiled with choices on what to include in a film. <laughs> As long as the characters remain authentic, the fighting is both beautiful and visceral, and they do the Scotsman justice, Samurai Jack has the potential to become a cinematic hero's journey like no other. 